This journey all started when I got done finishing another eight hour shift to wrap up the Final Fantasy VII Remake because I was prepping myself for one of the biggest games to drop in 2024. But while I was finishing that up, I just kept reading my mod group chat and it went a little bit something like this. So I ended up caving in because I got a bad case of FOMO with this one. If you guys don't know what FOMO means, FOMO means anxiety that an exciting or an interesting event may currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on social media. Therefore, my mods talking about Persona 3 and the greatest game to freaking come out, I caved in. Persona 3 is just one of those breathtaking JRPGs I'm truly having the time of my life with. When it comes to JRPGs, they have really been one of my favorite genres this last year and kicking it off into 2024. The games have been so hot with games I played like Final Fantasy Remake, Sea of Stars, even Dragon Quest Monsters, which I truly thought was a masterpiece as well. But this one might have taken the cake for me. Something about this game that has been on my mind for the past two weeks as to why I can't put the controller down or why I have been enjoying all these little characters in this virtual world with this virtual problem of the town being overtaken by shadows in the dark hour that really just pulls me in. Persona 3 Reload takes us into the life of our main protagonist who doesn't have a name so we just name him after ourselves. You sign your life away in a contract you didn't read with this boy and his striped outfit that always has that look on his face that he looked like he peed the bed and is waiting to tell his mom. You chill in your dorm for a few days to be woken up that your dorm is being attacked by these things called shadows. That only comes out when the clock strikes midnight, which in Persona we call this the dark hour. That only Persona users can take a part in and know what is going on. After reaching your potential to be able to wield a Persona, your journey starts by taking out the deadly shadows that roam the streets in the dungeon known as Tartarus. In between then, you go to school, interact with amazing side characters, maybe go to a club or grab a bite to eat, and explore the beautiful beautiful world Atlas takes us on. The story alone was top notch to me and really kept me engaged for my whole playthrough of the game. Persona 3 took everything from the original versions of the game and added so many more elements to an already amazing title to really stamp this as a certified banger for the Persona series. I loved how the team of C's really came to its own and how much it grew throughout the story of the game and bit by bit added more members to it and adding amazing backstory to the members within the group to really Really give each character its own spotlight and its story within your story, as I like to say. Seeing Jinpei getting jealous and really showing a fire in his gut to wanting to be a leader and getting jealous because he isn't getting the treatment the main protagonist gets in the game is something I could personally relate to because he wants to seem like he serves a purpose within this world. Or how Fuka comes out of her shell from being a weak and frail individual, but after joining a group of people who count on her, she steps up and plays one of the biggest roles in the game to help support her team. Koro-chan gave back and helped defeat the shadows and gained light after they took down his owner and plenty of freaking more. That's not even it though. Persona 3 and its social links were also just amazing in its own sense as well. Being able to pick who you want to hang out with after school, on the weekends, or plenty of activities outside of the main story keeps things fresh and adds a bit of player choice into the game that I could truly appreciate in a game like this. Who doesn't want to hang out with a student that's trying to bang his teacher? The student council head that's actually the biggest asshole I've ever seen in my life. Don't get caught smoking or this guy's gonna come get you. The guy that's overcommitted to the track team when you low-key dust him at every single freaking race because dude's slower than a turtle with a 50-pound weight on it and he can just not beat you and you barely even show up to practice. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? The side stories within the game, I'm saying, always had me laughing and put me in the shoes a lot of the time when it came to what scenario I want to choose, how I want to approach the situation, and treat our friendship. You could even blatantly tell this girl that it's her fault that her parents got a divorce. Is it messed up that I said yeah? It probably was. And then it becomes evening. And this is when the freeze come out at night. And I'm not talking about when I'm talking to Yukari. <laughs> I'm talking about this insane dungeon with its creepy and eerie vibe that adds so much atmosphere to the darkness of Persona and that has over a hundred floors of an extreme amount of variety of shadows where you use one of the most pleasing and refreshing combat systems I've seen in a JRPG. Being rewarded for testing out certain spells to figure out an opponent's weakness 
to be able to take down enemies and land an all-out attack was simply just satisfying. Going to Tartarus and seeing all the interactions between the characters and Fuka updating you on what's the next step is makes it enjoyable and it helps guide you through to plan your Tartarus trips and how to make a plan before every battle. I loved how Persona 3 used a lot of the tactics with not just yourself, but the boss fights within the game. We had fights where one enemy can get hit with physical attacks, so you have to use magic, and the other is the opposite. Or how some enemies in the game would be used to boost up the main boss by using stat-raising moves to really give you a challenge within the game and to make sure you think about what step you're going to take in the fight instead of just spamming your 500 Bufu with your Jack Frost, which is, by the way, my favorite character of all time. I mean, literally, just look at this guy. Dude is so freaking handsome i had that dragon quest monster effect in this game where i spent a lot of time fusing personas in this game to really test out the builds i can make and the level of personas that actually got created i've always loved the iconic personas that are in the smt and persona universe so seeing a lot of these again in my playthrough i try to stick with four really decent personas and keep on getting higher level ones by fusing old ones and trying to get special fusion personas to build one of the most perfect teams i can some honorable mentions i will say black frost Huo Po and this creepy looking devil with his tail between his legs. Why the fuck is his tail between his legs? And why the hell are 90% of you still watching these and not subscribing? It literally takes two seconds, all right? Just do it. Do it for my man, Jack Frost. Inside Tartarus, I really thought it was cool that they also threw in these missing reports when people amongst the world randomly disappear for reasons like walking their dog and never coming back. They come up missing in reports and they end up in Tartarus and it's your job to find out what floor they're on to be able to save them and bring them back for a hefty reward. I love the way when you exceed certain points in Tartarus that the levels and the floors change so it's not the exact same thing as like the first few blocks that you go through. And it gives you a different feeling and a different idea of how they want you to explore each and every floor and each and every block to the due to a different amount of elements that are going through Tartarus. Even using the other abilities from other characters within the game to help you out felt really good. And they're key elements to help you in combat. And I know y'all were waiting for this to come. The absolute heater that comes on when you start a battle is unmatched. Put that shit on replay. Honestly, the whole soundtrack is very good from the opening. To even the catchy jingles when you do your day to days. Whoever was cooking in the studio, please give them the whole pan. Give them the spatula. Give them every ingredient possible. Using the time off from the whole fighting in dungeons was one of the things that really made this game shine for me. It emphasizes so much on the things you can do besides the fighting and really gain socials and bonds with others within the game. I love doing little stuff with my members on the team, such as mommy grabbing me some tea and talking about how school has been going. Or Aegis helping me grow my garden, watching movies with Yuka, and so much more. Doing this also gives gives you so many helpful items and bring out battle characteristics that will help you when you explore Tartarus. And I really thought that was kind of cool. Even though I mentioned a lot about some of the supporting characters within the Persona, they truly made this experience fun. This game really made me appreciate and grow my original feelings about how I felt about Persona 4, where I felt like it was just a lot of talking and not really a lot of combat within the game. But after playing Persona 3, I genuinely enjoyed hearing the little things and seeing the side of the stories and learning from that past experience. This is where Persona games truly blossom. It's the interactions in the world around it besides just doing dungeon crawling stuff all the time. In conclusion to everything, Persona 3 Reload, just like the title claims, it's perfect. Especially if you love JRPGs that emphasize relationships while throwing in strategy, dungeon crawling, and so much more. The work visually this game had all around was a beauty to see and what to look forward to when it comes to the next installment if we ever come to that having a game experience where all my friends were on board with the game at the same time and sharing our experience and memes and talks throughout the whole thing might be something i truly never forget this is a longer game but take the time and enjoy it for the 60 plus hours you will put into this game 
you will come out with something positive, I can guarantee it. I can't wait to see what takes me after playing a title like this and the next game I play, but it might be hard to overtop this experience. And for that, I say Persona 3 Reload, you were my favorite game going into 2024, and I can't wait to see what's on the next one.